So it starts off with me putting Shorty in the dumpster. Actually, why am I starting it there? Come on now, you know when B puts on that shiesty, it's go time. It's time for his get back on dropkick. Bro had him chained up and started beating on him. Bro couldn't even fight back. Wow. This how we moving now? Straight up, no honor. Somebody ring up Zuko. So B sees them on the tower and ate that shit out. It was really on sight for him. Especially when it came to dropkick. That man wanted all the smoke. Just look at him jumping off the platform. Who does that man think he is? B sees that and is like, oh yeah, come here. Jumps off both platforms and... You know what, maybe that wasn't a good idea. But hey, that shit was clean though. So they both end up on the floor. And Dropkick starts it off with a clean right hook. I'm not gonna lie, that shit had my boy be stumbling. He got so mad, he tried to boom him instantly. Dropkick's like, wow, I see we using rockets now. Tries to hit B with the rocket directly to his head. But B dodges it, and he lets that shit fly. And guess where it goes? Yep, to Shorty in the dumpster. I'm watching it like, why is she closing the lid? Like, that's about to save you. It's a rocket you are dead but apparently i was wrong and the dumpster is indestructible apparently that random dumpster she's in is made out of fucking vibranium she gets out unscathed and the dumpster itself doesn't even have a dent in it but thank god the cameraman put it back on b because he was cooking bro just look at this this man b uses that elbow to attack the knee gets this man down grabs him and does a whole backflip kick that shit was so clean he started looking at us b i promise we saw that so b goes to tackle him and the cameraman decided to stop showing the fight and b was cooking he was winning but when the camera goes back to the fight we see that b is losing and i'm just like damn what happened he was getting tossed but he made a comeback just watch this be like get your weak ass off me goes to grab metal and hits his ass with it then he grabs him throws him to the ground and he's bugging out now dropkick had to toss his ass off he was like all right you're not doing that to me and you know that shit got him mad too because he walks up to him and hits him with the craziest backhand i ever seen now nah, look at that sparks from a backhand is crazy but peep the work bumblebee gave him he elbows him <clears throat> kicks this man in the stomach has him hey, and yep. then he does one of the sauciest moves i ever seen I ain't gonna lie, he nice with it. <laughs> but unfortunately, the combo ends there because he just tosses his ass away. But that's the end of my part. I don't know what Blank Boy's gonna say, but if it's disrespectful, I'ma hurt him. Alright, bro, it's time for you to shut up now. It's my turn. So Dropkick throws B and he sees him driving away and he like, yeah, your ass better run. Bumblebee like, hold on, motherfuckers must have thought I was pussy. Spins the block and Superman punches his ass. Bumblebee's car form in this movie was very shitty. Dudes was whipping this hoe during Abraham Lincoln's inauguration, so that sharp U-turn he made was very impressive. Now they rolling like bowling balls, just taking turns decking each other in the forehead. I know both they asses gonna need Advil after this. So do y'all remember in Captain America Civil War when Iron Man hit Steve Rogers with that line, stay down, final warning? This was right after Iron Man found out that Bucky killed his parents and they jumped bro for being mad about it. Yeah, Dropkick should have taken Iron Man's advice and stayed down on all fours like Riley Reed because once he stood up, it just got really worse for him. So Bumblebee hits him with a gut punch, that should look like it hurt. A duck and spin move at the same time, he out there breakdancing, his ass think he in the Jabberwockies. Smack that man in the back of the leg with a big ass pole, had him hit in the will you marry me. Then uses the same pole to smack the fucking taste out of Dropkick's mouth. Do you see that spark damage right there? He definitely scratched off half of bro's face. Got that man looking like he brought shame to the fire nation. Dropkick hits B with a nasty uppercut. Good thing Brody got his shiesty on or else that would have been a deadly hit. Might have been a knockout punch to the chin. But Bumblebee is just simply too fast. He weaving everything. 6 9 could have used this training. Maybe it would have saved him. They pulled up on bro at the gym after he just got off the Stairmaster. Oh yeah, he didn't stand a chance. He was entering battle on 3 HP. Bumblebee kicks at the baby on my dropkick's foot. Definitely made him stub his toe. I know he hitting the lip bite right now. B then hooks his arm like they about to take prom pictures together. Don't say that word around my other classmates. Our prom got canceled and they still got PTSD about it. If they even hear the word prom, they start sweating, hyperventilating, and hitting the fucking cat daddy impulsively. But Bumblebee throws dropkick to then get hit with the craziest right hook I ever seen. Got that man legs dangling in the air, spinning 360 degrees. I hope the Autobot bad bitches didn't see that. That's embarrassing. So now B laid out like a mattress, but he not done. I don't even know where he learned some shit like this from. The choreography in this fight is so clean, I feel like I'm watching a Michael Jackson, the elementary school spawn camper music video right now. But this move from Jaw Kick was so clean it damn near had me ready to switch sides, no Kevin Durant. Hey, it be like that sometimes, all it takes is one action to change your mind. Like I wasn't really feeling my ex, but then summertime came around and I saw the way she was eating this popsicle. 
had me rethinking everything like damn at the right angle maybe she is kind of beautiful but dropkick signed his own death note when he turned into a helicopter because all it took was a chain in order to send him to a pop smoke concert which leads us to maybe the goofiest final lines in transformers history you think these little chains can hold up <laughs> bro i'm crying there's nothing left literally just two legs 